Six years ago, Ana Cedeño found out she had breast cancer. The diagnosis forced her to quit her job of 30 years as a social worker. Now, amid rampant inflation, her pension, combined with her husband's salary, comes to less than two U.S. dollars a month. We eat and survive because we've been selling personal items to buy protein like eggs, and that's it. Like many in crisis-stricken Venezuela, Cedeño struggles to feed her family amid soaring prices and shortages. While some people have taken to eating spoiled meat, Ana boils dirty water to cook with and drink. Once I have nothing left to sell, I don't know what we'll do. Maybe I'll become a street merchant or start selling lemonade or something. Each month, Cedeño's family gets a government-subsidized food box. But, she says the rice, oil and flour are not enough to feed her family of four. Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro blames the crisis on what he calls imperialist forces waging an economic war on Venezuela. In addition to issuing new bank notes, the government has announced a 3,000 percent increase in the minimum wage due to take effect on September 1st, along with higher corporate taxes. But the IMF predicts Venezuela's economy will shrink by 18 percent this year, and inflation could still hit a million percent. Erasing zeros from the notes does not solve the problem which led you to take them out. If the government doesn't control hyperinflation, three months from now the new notes will be worthless. Shopping for her family at a street market in Caracas, Ana Cedeño has doubts that runaway inflation will ease. Y lo que pude comprar fueron two bananas and seven tomatoes. This is the food I could buy with my salary for the next month. In Venezuela, there's no education, no medicine. The list goes on. This is tough. Each day is a constant battle to continue living. Aquí no hay servicios. In the meantime, Cedeño is unable to get proper treatment for her cancer, and as the crisis continues to roil the country, she says she's considering joining two million of her fellow Venezuelans that the UN says have fled the country in recent years. Juan Carlos Lamas, CGT in Caracas.